Before you can start to work on a wheel end, your first step needs to be figuring out which of the three main types of wheel end systems it is. Today, you'll learn how to determine if it's an adjustable, pre-adjusted, or unitized wheel end. It's easy to identify an adjustable wheel end because it has two single row bearings. You can use the adjusting nut to set the internal clearance of the bearings. There are different types of adjusting nut systems, including single nut and two or three piece jam nut. Three piece locking nut systems are used to create end play. For single nut systems, you can follow the manufacturer's adjustment procedure, or you can refer to TMC RP618 adjustment procedures for all locking nut systems. Pre-adjusted wheel end systems have two bearing assemblies with a spacer between the inner and outer bearings. You install these wheel ends using the retention nut and related hardware. Always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for recommended torque values. Unitized wheel ends are a one-piece package that includes pre-lubricated bearings and seals pre-installed into the hub. The bearings come pre-adjusted. The job of the nut is retaining the assembly on the spindle. You can service both pre-adjusted and adjustable wheel end systems. For unitized wheel ends, we recommend that you replace the entire unit. Tech Tips EV3 Identifying Wheel End Systems includes the information in this video, plus a list of warnings that you should check. This has been a Timken Tricks of the Trade video helping you build your service knowledge. Thanks for watching.